Me, I, I want the money and the flash. I want to be able to get on the yacht. I want to go to the Super Bowl every year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to talk shit. Man, I'm Jay Z. So. <laughs> <laughs> See, Chris, he's smart. I don't go with Eli months, months hey, so I can learn about the Rockets. Me, I just want to be on Instagram. Just, <laughs> yeah, just, just flexing. I'm, I'm, I'm so. right. <laughs> hey, man. Beyonce is my mama. We are not the same. <laughs> hey, yeah, well, Mike, Mike said I brag different. Beyonce, my mama. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I'm bragging different. Beyonce, my mama. Is our what our fifty fifth episode, man? Five zero. Five zero. Come on, man. Not not everybody make the fifty episodes, man. You know, I'm just saying that this. If if I was drinking again, I would be drinking right now. But I'm not drinking. That's a little change right there. You know, you gotta switch it up. You know, as you, you, your level get a little bit. But we ain't gonna talk about right that. We're gonna talk about this fifty <laughs> Can I say that with my chest out? Fifty, man. Man, how y'all how y'all feeling, man? Chris, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? I mean, hey, hey, fifty, hey, we partying over here. It's a party today. We we turning up today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to We got to turn up. We got to turn up. We got to get that energy right there, man. Mike, what's up, bro? What's going down, homie? Man, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Five zero fiftieth episode. Half of a hundred. Boy, yeah. that sounds so good. Fifty, boy, you get the same man. Write about it, take a picture, all that, man. Fifty, we got the receipts. We've been doing the interviews and everything else. And what we're gonna have for y'all today on our big fiftieth episode, we already got somebody special coming through. We got a homegirl to shave, but we'll talk and chop it up with her later on. Very multi-talented, but we'll talk about her later on. But we're gonna be talking about some breaking news that's been going on with Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm sorry to the Smollett family. It's Smoo yay. It's Smoo yay. Smoo yay. Now forgive me, the, the small Smoo yay family, man. Uh, blame Dave Chappelle <laughs> for making me laugh about it. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about him as well as a certain um high school. I ain't gonna say high speed chase. It kind of went wah, wah, wah. You ever seen Grand Theft Auto? You know, y'all, we all been Grand Theft Auto fans. We playing a game and try to hide from somebody, but we'll talk about that later on today. As well as Adam Missouri, the head of Instagram, comes out and speaks out about some things that's going on overseas in the Ukraine and everything. And let's not forget, we're going to talk about some movies that's coming out that's hitting theaters real soon or hitting your streaming services, a movie or so that we watch, some TV shows that we've been watching, and let's not forget about who gets just acting up award as well too all that more just acting up show y'all stay like all right ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the show before we get in the show we need you to do just one favor it's our 50th episode so go ahead and oblige us <sighs> like comment share and subscribe it's free Free. Right. Yes. Yeah, with your kin folk. Like, like we in church. All we need is one. Is there one? Let's see. Is there one? They said yeah. that when one comes and approaches, then others flock to you. Then to reach out and touch the neighbor and tell that neighbor about it. Yes. See when you get a good word, you spread that word. You see, you got a lock, file, a comment. Yeah. Okay, I ain't gonna do that this time. No. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that this show. <laughs> no, we ain't gonna do it, man. But yeah, y'all go ahead. It's so simple. Um, just go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like my brother Mike said, like my brother Chris said, man. And check out our interviews, past interviews, past episodes. We're giving y'all some great content, man. We just need you to arrive and show up and watch. And 
tell others. So, uh, since this is our 50th episode, we want to keep, you know, great energy going. We want to talk and have some fun, but we want to go ahead and get this out the way first. So, Adam Missouri, head of Instagram, speaks out after the Russia says they will ban the app come Monday, man. So, uh, pretty much is going on. The decision will, uh, Missouri says on Monday, Instagram will, will be blocked in Russia. This decision will cut 80 million in Russia off from one another and from the rest of the world as 80% of people in Russia follow an Instagram account outside their country. This is wrong. Uh, man, um, so what do y'all think about that, man? Uh, wow. So basically they, uh, they they put in Russia, you know, isolated from the world, basically, right? I yeah. I, I heard some some reports that um, uh, Putin is taking the internet off, like the worldwide internet from Russia. They're gonna have their own internet, or something something like that. He's he's pretty much isolating himself, yeah. the rest of the world, yeah. that country. Yeah, man, and um, uh, they're not the only ones. I know Netflix is um, uh, I believe Netflix, I think, is uh, doing that as well too. Quite a few other things cutting mm-hmm. Russia off because mm-hmm. of. Yeah, yeah. Because of what's what's going on over there? Uh, it's getting rough over there, man. It is. But um, so I mean, I just wanted to talk about it real quick, get it out the way because I know everybody is talking about it. Um, so yeah. Uh, continue to hearts and prayers to everyone over there that's in Russia, Ukraine, and all that. Uh, gotta be safe. Um, hopefully this can subside soon, sooner than later, because it's a mess. It, it it has got to suck for the people in Russia that is like we ain't even want this. They can't no. even watch Netflix right now. No, like man, I bet they probably went to their account like, wait, wait, why wait. is my Netflix not working? Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, ooh, oh, ooh, that'd be enough. I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm out of here. <laughs> Peace out. Mm-hmm. And you know, people from get money through Instagram too as well too. So they calling off some people funds too. So. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. Uh, like I said, hearts and prayers to everybody over there. So, yeah. yeah. So let's move on to some other news. Now, I'm trying to see where was this taking place at. Um, like I said, we what was this taking place at? We we all played Grand Theft Auto. We all played Metal Gear Solid. This to me was like a mixture of the two right here. Um, first and foremost. Y'all stop breaking the law in a situation like this wouldn't happen. Homeboy here, let me see. Uh, I'm looking at the comments right now. Homeboy was trying to flee <laughs> some police officers and they had the sky cam above and they just looking at Homeboy just, just running, sprinting. And homeboy ducked off behind a blue car and then he laid down and said, I hope they don't see me. This was classic. I can help but laugh at it. This this is classic, man. What, what what did y'all think about this when y'all saw this mess? Yeah, it was it was very entertaining, to say the least. <laughs> if it wasn't for the helicopter guy, if it wasn't for him, man, because I, I guess they had someone, yeah, in the helicopter say, hey, he's he's behind the blue car and they're looking for the blue car. Where's the blue car? <laughs> yeah. It, I, it probably wasn't until they went back to the car that's like, yeah, I got eyes on them. They probably say, hey, he's right there at the blue right. car. And then they went back. They, they, they still went to the blue car. I was like, they still went to the blue car. They still <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh because I was like, when they went around, they just just, just, just ran and they, they looked right like, oh, there he is right there. If there was like a sewer drain right there, yeah, oh, he, 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 yeah he would have made it. He would have made it. Yeah, Crim- yeah. no, nah, he wouldn't have made it. Criminals do the most stupidest things in times like that. You're not gonna get away, man. That you, you they always run like they are. Yeah, <laughs> it's the running for me in the high amount of car. Unless you got Jason Statham on deck to get you out of that, you ain't getting away. Man, straight up. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you're not Jason Statham. You're not Jason Bourne. You ain't none of the people. This is a heavy set dude. Anybody trying to hide from Fast and Furious. <laughs> and who else are good getaway drivers? Anybody from Fast and Furious? You definitely. Yeah, you probably, yeah. If they not if they not ready to, to to be a getaway driver, then you ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it, fam. Yeah. Just get. I mean, he had he had an awesome chance. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, he had one of those chances. Like, man, this happened like once in a million. Oh, this man could he could have made it. Looks like yeah, he could have. Yeah, like one more 
quick little opening, he probably could have. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, it's um, was it in LA? Yeah, that was in LA. Yeah, the driver of a stolen SUV was caught in South LA at the leading authorities on a short pursuit, crashing in busy traffic and then trying to run away on foot. <sighs> yeah, this, this ain't Grand Theft Auto, homie. You ain't gonna get away, man. You can't. They gonna find you. Yo, yeah. yo. Yeah, I almost did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, them five stars almost faded away. And you, <laughs> you almost got out of there. Oh, man. But yeah, man. So moving on to other news. So breaking news, Jesse, Jesse has been sentenced to 150 days in the Cook County Jail, 30 months of probation, and will have to pay back the city of Chi-Town, Chicago. Shout out to Diallo, Bashir, the cast of Southside. I don't know finale. about this placement of this shout out. I don't know. They want to be. Related. Yeah, they don't want to be yeah, yeah, shout out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Jesse. Yeah, let, let, let's. Yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to. We'll, we'll, we'll do another shout out later on for them because they would need to congratulate them anyways as well. So, yeah, but yeah, uh, I have to pay back to the city of Chicago. Uh, 120,000, man. 120,000 and things. Goodness gracious. Um, man, that was, that's. I mean, be honest with you, he lucky that um, that's all he got for us. Well, the maximum is three years. Well, so. no, he got he got a long. Pro- he got about uh, what was it? It was uh, 150 days plus. He had probation for like was it like 34? Was it 30? How many months? 34 months. Uh, 30, I thought it was 30 months. 30 months of probation. Yeah, 30, 30 months. months. So yeah, he's looking. He's still he's still fighting it to the end. He's like, I'm gonna stick to this lie till I go <laughs> all the way to the end. Oh, that, that 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 was surprising to me that he that he reacted that way. And I'm still saying that I'm innocent. I still haven't admit to it. Yeah, like he that surprised me, bro. And and it's like you know heard the story so many times in the news, but for the judge, because I, I heard the whole thing when the judge gave. Gave him the verdict or whatever, um, but his sentence and the judge even said some more that made it so, like, bro, we know you was lying. Like to <laughs> hear it again is like, come on, dog. Like they had a Chicago, they had a vortex. Like it was double digit below weather. Nobody wasn't supposed to be out on the street. He goes to Walgreens to go get some eggs and a subway sandwich. Conveniently yeah. that night when there's not a lot of people there. <laughs> and then the two brothers got dropped off a block away where no one saw them. And then <laughs> from an Uber driver. And then got picked up by the town. I'm like, come on now. <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's... <laughs> you know, it's, it's like the snowball effect. It just keeps yeah. getting bigger. The lock keeps yeah, getting bigger, bigger. I'm like, dude, like just I mean, and, hey man. This all could have been avoided if he would have just, just been straight up the first go around. Yeah. I mean, just, Honestly, please. See what happens when you lie? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. See, this right here. This this right here is a right here. Don't lie. Just just don't. Just, just stop. Don't do and, it. And it was reported from the judge that Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton pleaded with the judge to show mercy. So Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, as old as they are, they still see the lie. Yeah, with their reputation, they still stood up for him and everything. They did, yeah. they did, they did, and they they asked the judge for um the judge took that in consideration. Like I said, it could have been a lot worse for him. So mm-hmm. it really could. Yeah, it really could have been, man. So um. Yeah, man. So moving on and moving forward to other news. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some sports news real quick, man. So uh, first and foremost, um, shout out to the Houston Rockets when they did defeat L. I I know people going to say, why y'all always getting on L.A.? Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, man, it, it, when it happens, it happens. We got to report it. It just happened. But um, our team, we know what our team is. Right. Um, they're 18, 17 win games or whatever. Uh, they they trying to figure things out. 
So um, it was just refreshing to see that they won in the overtime win. Very young team. Yeah. Um, so, so, hey, man. I had an argument with, with uh, a cousin yesterday. He told my man, well, we ain't got nothing to celebrate in the Rockets fan. Why y'all so happy? I'm like, look, we don't have the expectation of going to, to the championship. We know we're young, but our youth is so exciting that we're ready for the – like, we're excited for the future of the team. Right. Exactly. I don't expect them to do nothing in the playoffs this year or even go to the playoffs. And it's funny that you said expect expectation. No, oh, God, no, 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 no. You say that ten times. Yeah, exactly. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's funny that you that you say that because it's still the Lakers at the end of the day. It's still the Lakers, and they still have LeBron James. So it's like, yeah, man, we beat them. But you know, on the flip side of it all, um, Russell Westbrook is getting annoyed with the West Bricks. He hurt, and he and. Yeah, and the chants, and you know, I do not agree with the death threats of his family. I think that's 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 out of line. That's out of line of the yeah. fans. But the fans is notorious of doing these things, and it's just it's just unacceptable either way it goes. Uh, I do not I do not agree with that at all. But you know, Russell as the player, he got to take a lot of responsibility for that man because when you play for the Lakers, it's different. When you play for the Cowboys, it's different. When you play for the Boston Red Sox or the ball, the New York Yankees, these teams are historic. You know, the Patriots, you know, the list just goes on. They, they ain't no ain't no going to the play-in or let's just make it to the playoffs yeah. or let's just go get a better draft pick. No, it's championship of bust every single year, you know. They got a whole TV show, Winning Time. Which is a great yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I forgot about that. It's on HBO Max. I've been hearing some. I've been hearing some good things about it. It's really it's good. good. From what I've, I, I, we'll, we'll save it for critics corner. Yeah, we'll save, we'll save it for the critics. Critics corner. Yeah, well, my my bad for jumping the gun, but it was. Just no, you like, good. You it, good. It was just like Russell is uh, Russell, 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 <laughs> Russell. Yeah, you're not on. You're not. You're not on, in Oklahoma. You're not in Houston. You're, you're not in Washington. No. You you are in Laker Town, and they, actually beat, and they expect results. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and the Lakers did actually beat uh, Washington last. Uh, I know the show will air on Tuesday, but they did beat Washington. So yeah, but um, and LeBron dropped another fifth piece, Chicken McNugget style, on y'all. Um, but yeah, man. Um, <sighs> well, yeah, Mike, you're right. It's they have championship expectations over there because of what they've done in the past. And, of course, uh, they won their last championship um, when it was the first go-around of the uh, pandemic era. They call it Bubblicious. Bubbles. The bubble. You was, yeah, was in the bubble. So, yeah, man. <laughs> so, yeah, man. <laughs> I forgot about that bubble gum. But, um, yeah, man, so, um, yeah, we'll see what happens how this uh, season um uh, Ends, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to see what uh, uh, flashes of brilliance from the Rockets and see what happens going on. And uh, okay. speaking of other sports news, man, Deshaun Watson. Mm-hmm. Deshaun Watson has been he what's going on? I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. Um, all 22 women, what was 22? I think he had 11. Was it? 11? He, had, he had 11 yeah. charges, I think. Yeah, the charges have been there. That just said, that just said, denied, homie. That denied. Y'all ain't getting it. He still does face the 22 civil lawsuits. Mm. Those, those are still pending. But as far as criminal, he's been cleared. Yeah. And so now um, negotiating, well, people are starting to talk now because, you know, he lost all his deals, like watch to everything, endorsement deals he had. That boy lost all of it. And that's crazy, too. That, and Mike is so t- <laughs> You know, do y'all think it's a chance that because we have Lovey Smith now, different coaching regime, that maybe he could stay with the Texans? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mike, going somewhere. Y'all, y'all had y'all time. <laughs> Let somebody else get a chance. You know, like the kid I always want to – let somebody else get a chance. I always want to hog the game. Just, you know <laughs> – that man is gone. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Houston. There is no hope. That man is gone. He can't wait. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. 
<laughs> How about uh, it? Now I will say that, like I said, we we this show we Aaron we're doing this show right now on Saturday, March what's today twelfth, uh, and the show will air on Tuesday. So we don't know if this what we're saying right now gonna age well or what's gonna. I mean, we just got we don't know. We're gonna wait and see, man. But uh, there's a decision that will be made um, sometime soon with Deshaun, his camp, his team. So yeah, to my proud Steeler Nation. Be patient. Because when I first heard the reports, I'm like, that's Cal. That man is not coming. I, I haven't heard anything. But, you know, you don't never know what's behind the scenes. Uh, I forgot the guy who broke it. They got on his ass, boy. Because they like, man. Because <laughs> the Steelers turned around and said, no, we are not interested in Deshaun Watson. <laughs> Still a nation turned around and got on that dude's ass. But who knows? They probably is, but they just not mentioning it right now. So who knows? We just what, see what the um what was keeping a lot of teams uh away is just they didn't know what was happening criminally with it. So now that they mm-hmm. know, okay, this is this is the criminal has been that's done with. That's what everybody was waiting on. Was this this ruling here? And so now you about to see the Texans and Deshaun Watson trade talks really kick up this next week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looking forward to for it. We'll probably see him. Uh, some, whatever his situation is going to be, should be resolved by the draft at least, by the time the draft comes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get Critics Corner uh, going on and popping, man. But before we do that, we got a guest that's going to come through for Critics Corner and talk and chop it over with us. So y'all stay locked in just acting up. Show. Ladies and gentlemen, we about to get to this critics corner, but before we talk about all this breaking news with TV, television, films, and entertainment news, we need y'all to go where? To Joffrey's VIP room. Bow right there. The picture right there. Bow right there. Simple. Just like, just like this show. Just click, like, share, subscribe. Joffrey's VIP room. We can do a more detailed analysis of the TV shows and Hollywood news, all that and more on Joffrey's VIP room. When I'm joined by both of my co-hosts, Ashley and David. They so crazy. This last episode, they had me cracking up laughing. I couldn't stop laughing, man. So y'all get in. Y'all join the debate. Might go live sometime soon in the future so y'all can see what we talk about and join the party. Joff has got people. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to this critics' corner. First off, I think this is pretty cool right here. Ludacris and his daughter. I got to talk about I got to talk about this. This this is really dope. This um, right here. So Ludacris and his daughter are to produce an animated Netflix series that empowers young black girls. That's dope. I dig that. That's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. I knew the name of it. For the show. Um, I heard it been in the works for a minute, too. And then I seen it when it was released. It's been released on Netflix, and I did watch an episode of it. And I, I dig mm-hmm. it, because I've actually been working on a project myself that's close to it. And I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. this is because this is something that is needed. Like, it's, it's relevant. It's it's relevant to the culture and it's applicable cool for kids and all that stuff. So I dig mm-hmm. it. I think it's a good show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What um let me see what yeah, Mike said, what is the what is this yeah, show? What's called? the name? Yeah, what's the show called? Uh everyone with kids need to watch Karma on Netflix. Okay, cool. That's his daughter, oh. Karma. Yeah, his oldest daughter. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I dig it, man. I'm all for it. So, with all that being said, up, let's go to the next news. So, this is a surprise and shocking. Mike had me laughing on this. Um, Morbius, which comes out early next month in April, I think April 1st, I believe. Um, the runtime has been revealed, and it says Morbius has a one hour and 44 minute runtime. Let me see. And then somebody in this comment says, that's seven min- minutes longer than Venom. Let there be carnage. So um, it made me laugh because Mike said, uh, "So that's half of a of a, <laughs> of a Marvel film, right there." Yeah, that's pretty much. I can pretty much stand up on that one, huh? I mean, I can stand. I can y'all stand through, like through two and a half hours of Morbius. The is Avengers. Spider Man is Spider Man. Yeah, Batman this, is Batman. Yeah, yeah. you you're yeah, you right. You're right. I, I, yeah. I can understand I can understand it. You gotta be a real diehard fan to stay stay with this right home. Real diehard fan. And 
I don't know too too much about Morbius, man. But I mean, then uh, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem because Morbius is if, 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 it's taking it's taking a leap because. Even with Black Panther, it was man. The culture came out and they shine. Oh, they was, sh- yeah. You know, they came in there with dashikis on. They had, you know, yeah. They was so. I, mean, I say what, all that. I, I, maybe what? What you gonna say? <laughs> maybe Go ahead, get, with all the emo kids, right? No, <laughs> around the world. You know, make it make it like a. You know, no, no. Hey, man. Uh, Come on. Mm-hmm. Dude. No, I don't know, man. No, we gonna see some people dress. We gonna see some people dress up like vampires for real, man. We gonna I, see it. And if you do, I'm not gonna go in that theater. And I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I go in the morning. I go mad in the time. I do not care. Freaks come <laughs> out at night. Freaks come out at night. No, I'm gonna stop playing. But yeah, you go. I love. But- <laughs> what you about to say? But in, in in hindsight, I wish everybody the best of luck because these movies, these type of movies, is so much pressure under pressure. It's pressure. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Queen, but it's 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 pressure with these with these kind of movies, especially with a Marvel, because it's the expectation mm-hmm. that they have. So you boy, you got That's to come on with it. You got to bang it out of the park. Don't play with it. Straight up. Man, speaking of uh, pressure, somebody's putting pressure on this. Parents TV Council unhappy with Daredevil and more shows coming to Disney+. Plus. It goes on to say, according to Variety, the parents, the PTC, Parents Television Council, has spoken out against Disney's decision to put the more mature rated Marvel series on Disney+, Plus as they see it as destroying their brand, despite applauding the company's parental control updates. The issue is with Disney having the material on their service at all, saying it's against the company's core values as a family-friendly service. They do not think Disney needs to compete with other companies and tarnish their legacy by adding series. What all do you want, people? Like, it's, a, it's called parental controls for a reason. Yeah, and then how you applaud somebody for? Okay, good. Yeah, I'm glad you did that. But still, like. That's some parents that ain't got nothing else better to do. No. No, they really don't. don't. They, they, and it, I'm not trying to be sexist, but I'm pretty sure it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, <laughs> but she, she, she don't, she's a stay at home mom and she just got, she got a stay at home mom. I don't know. But anyway, she just got time on her hands. Like, yeah, a Karen. Man. I'm just gonna say a Karen. It's a Karen. <laughs> it is a like, Karen. It, it, it's a Karen. But uh, come on, you already should know this. It's already as soon as Disney took over and Marvel and Marvel had other sides to them other than PG-13. Come on now, Deadpool, Daredevil, Luke Cage, The Punisher, Ghost Rider. Come on, Disney. Don't play with me. Yeah, it, feed, it feeds into the, you know. At what point does parenting take 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 over? You know exactly. It, you know you you can control what your kids watch. To, yeah. You know, to say, so the parental using things like parental controls. Okay, knowing, making sure they're not watching this stuff while you know that you don't want them watching. You right. know now if they're able to access it and watch whatever they want, then you know. Like, I'm I'm not the one with kids though, so I can't. That's probably a better topic suited for you all to answer. Oh no, nah, you you good, uh, brother. But you, I mean, you said it. You hit the, the nail on the head right there. Just you know, pay more attention to your kids and what they watch, and you know, tell them no, we can't watch this. Don't watch that. And that's it. I mean, you can't. I understand there's some things in this world that we all wish that we can, you know, try to slowly transition our kids into learning. But you can't protect them all the time, and that's that is what it is. Some things you just have to explain, or some things you just have to be as careful as you can, and just that's it. But I always say that if it, if the parenting is there and the guidance is there, you're gonna have some things that's going to penetrate that. But yeah. at the end of the day, you're still a parent, so and you have a job to do. Don't yes. rely on these multi-billion dollar companies to 
to screen everything. Because I still say that Batman should have not had no PG-13 rate. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know how they. I don't know how they managed to do that, but they did. So, yeah, they did just enough. They did just enough, man. So, um, more breaking news here, man. Um, I kind of this makes me sad to see this, man. Um, I was watching. I was a fan of this show. I didn't watch it. Watch like I wanted to, but you know, I would see bits and clips of it. So I was like, "You got a great show, brother," which is Nick's Cannon. Nick Cannon's uh, talk show is pretty much going to be canceled after six months. Um, and it says, according to The Sun and Page Six, the Nick Cannon show has been canceled at this, after only six months. The show was reportedly the lowest rated talk show, which is 400,000 viewers and no signs of growth. Um, I thought it was a good uh, show. I, I, I watched the first few weeks of it. It was pretty good. It had a catchy little thing. So, and, and, and. Okay, all that, but it, but when you think about daytime TV, mm-hmm. I don't know if it shows a good fit for daytime because it was it's 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 a good show. It was it was very uh, multicultural, very of the times, and you know in tune with like everything. But I think it would have been better as like a like daytime. a nighttime show because it'll get that that or that target audience. It's talking because you think about daytime, you got the daytime moms, the older women. You mm-hmm. know they're not in that. Yeah, they they too busy complaining to Disney about the parenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just, I just think his show wasn't it's not built for the be. I think it's it would have been better as a uh, it would have been a late night show talk show. I think he would have hit his demo. I think he would knocked it out the park then numbers wise. But daytime talk TV that's a whole nother monster. That's stepping into that Wendy Williams and the field space. You know that's yeah. You, know. you gotta have um. Yeah, with bright colors and everything. I, I noticed that too with daytime talk shows. They, they, you know, rock the bright colors and you know daytime. So we want to be buys, and that's that's crazy when um look at things like that. And um, yeah. he had. To, I guess you also have to compete with the um Drew Barrymore show, um the Kelly Clarkson show. Um, oh, we're speaking about Kelly Clarkson. Oh. Oh, oh my God, Lord have mercy! Ooh, that's a hefty, hefty fee. In right the name there. of my brother-in-law, I didn't say this, but he said I married the wrong one, <laughs> <laughs> and I agree with him. I married the wrong word to one too, because Lord have oh. mercy, man, one, she's one point something million dollars. Jesus, good gracious, good great. She's from Texas too, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I think she is from Texas. Somewhere up, I think someone close to Dallas area. I want to say, I know she's from Texas for sure, though. How old is Kelly Clarkson? Let me see, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. I want to say she's, she's old 30. enough to. She's old enough to give Brandon Blackstock one point three million dollars. That's just one big check with monthly child support of forty five thousand six hundred. Yeah, and in the, that okay, wait a minute. That's checks behind that 1.3 million. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's 45, mm-hmm. that's over 45 thousand dollars. Okay, and then child support 115 thousand mm-hmm. dollars mm-hmm. in spousal report mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. until 2024. Mm-hmm. 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 She is, and she's 39 years old. Just saw that. Man, Kelly Carson make that much money. I mean, she was the hey, first man. person ever <laughs> She's been in entertainment a long time. She has, like, man. She's I'm just saying, like, American Idol, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. She from Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, Fort Worth, Dallas, somewhere. Yeah, she from yeah. Um, I'm trying. To, so I'm trying to figure out what did what did her husband used to do? Was he like her manager at one point in time, or because or I'm like, man, what what did he? What she put that man through? Or, I mean, I mean, no, no, no. I like Kelly Carson. She she ain't do nothing to me. I dig her. I like her. She cool. Great talk show, by the way. But I'm just like, because you know, we don't really hear all the time that you know, the man is the one that walks away with getting child support. So I mean, was he not just only child support? One point three million dollars yeah. in a check. That's yeah. just one big check, and then. A spousal report of over forty five thousand dollars, and then child support over a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, bro, you said until two until two thousand and four. 
What 2024? 20, 20, what 2024? 20, oh, you good, bro? If you don't, you better. Man, I don't know what he was doing. Uh, behind the scenes, uh, if he was a manager or what, I gotta look into that. But I'm just saying, bro, you straight. I mean, I don't, how many kids they? I don't know how many kids they have or whatever. Um, they got a, over a hundred thousand. <laughs> I was like, dude, like. <laughs> What you gonna do with all that? I mean, I know private school and everything, education stuff for yourself. Okay, I mean your kids. I mean that's a lot of bread, homie. So, um, hey, uh, I'm 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 gonna leave it alone because I'm just like all, all the men in the world is trying to add it up, and trying to see what's going on, man. How did he get this? How did he get that? I mean, I had a teacher a long time ago. He bragged about it. He said, "Yeah, I'm divorced, and my wife pays." Me child support. <laughs> was like, dang. dang. My goodness, man. I mean, I guess she was a breadwinner. I don't know what he was doing. I mean, but he can do something with that for real, for sure. So, uh, and I'm also seeing heal, healing energy to uh, their kids to have to witness something like that, man. See mommy and daddy fight or whatever. And that happens. I mean, hey, but I know. I know they get to lay on the cushion of the money. But I bet I was just finna say that they got $1.3 million to, to wipe their tears on. They tears and they fears. <laughs> they not like the mama not gonna be in, in their life though, so they still good. Yeah, they like that sure. mama ain't finna make that money back neither. Lord have mercy. She better come with it with it. Like, like I said, that talk show's good. So I mean, I don't know if she had to get back out there and start singing and doing some tours. And I think she's also on um America's Got Talent too, I think. She a judge, so. So yeah, man. So Yo, hey, Christmas is gonna be lit at the Clarkson house. The Clarkson and the Black Stars house, it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna see if they can adopt me. Who's gonna pay for this? Child support. <laughs> you know, there's this show. I, mean. <laughs> I was I, I don't know what channel I was watching, but there's some crazy show called Adults Adopting Adults. I was like, what? Huh? I'm like, what what is this? <laughs> All right, what it's called Adults Adopting Adults. That's okay, looking- Ooh, okay. Who would you want to adopt you guys? I already know off top, right? All jokes aside, Beyonce and Jay Z, they can adopt me. I beat y'all to the punch. Yeah, you, you did. <laughs> at first, I was about to say Oprah. Oprah's a good one. I was about to say Oprah. That was going to be my number. Like, hey. You're going to eat everything healthy. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you you hey, can't sneak no fried chicken. I don't think Oprah eat fried chicken. You can't yeah, sneak no fried. You gonna have to smuggle that fried chicken. I think it's small money. I need that. I need that rocket money, like Elon Musk and. Ooh, oh, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's got cool. Us. Yeah, you got us. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. You want? You want Chris? <laughs> yeah, you want Chris? You, you want? And again, I mean, hey man, Elon got. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you won. Because you can tell us by the things that he come up with that we can watch out for. Because Elon be on his, his mindset be yeah. he, he different, man. Like yeah, that's, Chris, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's that billionaire type of money. Me, I, I want the money and the flash. I want to be able to get on the yacht. I want to go to the Super Bowl every year. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to be able to talk shit. Man, I'm Jay-Z. <laughs> 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 See, Chris, he's smart. I'm going to go with Eli Munts Munts hey, so I can learn about the Rockets. Me, I just want to be on Instagram. Just, <laughs> just, to just flexing. I'm, I'm just right. <laughs> hey, man. Beyonce is my mama. We are not the same. Hey, yeah. <laughs> well, Mike, Mike said I brag different. Beyonce, my mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm brag different. Beyonce, my mama. <laughs> Oprah, Oprah's gonna be hook, hooking me up, up with everything. I'm like, oh, that's my mama, but she gonna, hey man, I'll tell you, we 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 all three of us winning regardless. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Shout out to my mama. Let's disrespect my mama. Wow, I love you, mama. Hey, Miss Winfrey. <laughs> hey, mama. <laughs> shout out to. Shout out to my my blood mama, my actual mother mother. You did a terrific job. <laughs> As a child, but as an adult, I'm ready to be adopted. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm about to look into this for real, man. So um to finish this segment off, um the show the well the movie came out called The Adam Project. I went to me myself and my other friends went to go watch the premiere and the theaters had a special viewing. 
Uh, great film. I enjoyed it. And they also had a QA and a afterwards. I'm going to try to see if I can find the Q&A um, so I can post it. Uh, but it was great Q&A. Uh, great cast. Great cast. And I love the chemistry. So it's on Netflix right now. So y'all check that out. The Adam Project. As well as Nicolas Cage got a movie that's about Nicolas Cage. Like that's going to be hysterical. It looks funny and entertaining at the same time. Yeah. A lot of action. Yeah. And, and, and shout out to uh, Nicholas Cage. He he donated um, a car to UTI. Little, little tidbit of Nicholas Cage. This is, you know, trading uh, mechanic school that I went to, uh, UTI. And um, they had this big picture of him in the... Um, in the uh, and what I want to say, the student lounge, not student lounge, but the uh, what are, what the teachers and stuff is at the counselor's office and administration. Nicholas Cage donated a car to UTI. I don't know if he actually went because UTI was around for a while, but he did donate a classic car and it to UTI. So that was pretty cool. That's what's up. Um, I'm trying to see what's the name of this movie. It's called. Nicholas Cage is in the role he was born to play. The unbearable weight of says hashtag massive talent is in theaters everywhere April twenty second. So yeah, y'all be on the lookout for that movie right now. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have to have somebody come through real quick for our fiftieth. And I got, I just gotta, I gotta applaud this queen right quick. What's up, Shay? How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. You know, I couldn't let y'all have this 50th show without stopping by. Well, 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 you know what? We appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Definitely, definitely appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Y'all don't yeah. recognize that voice. I don't recognize the face. You know, y'all see those <laughs> dope promos we do? <laughs> bye bye. Mr. Shay, <laughs> queen right here. We got to, I got to, yeah, man. it's fun. It's fun. I enjoy doing the promos. You know, the show is awesome. So, thank you for having me. Yeah, we had to switch it up because Chris was, you know, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know y'all got tired of hearing my voice. Yeah, we got tired of hearing you. Know, you know, you know, you know, I know y'all like Chris' voice. It's every Tuesday. All right, all right. Joke's over. We ain't got to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> my feelings a little bit. Oh, man. So, um, Shay, before we get into um, how we met you and everything, tell us a little bit about yourself and about what you do. Okay. Um, well, I mostly do music. I'm an artist. Um, I sing. I sang in a band for about three years and then decided to kind of do my own solo artist thing. So um, this year I have a couple of uh, singles coming out that I'm working on. You know, hopefully they do well. You know, um, also, I'm doing a little bit of modeling and, of course, your podcast, a little bit of acting. I kind of like to do a little bit of both. I keep my options open and, you know, um, I'm not, I don't, everything that come my way, I don't take it, but the good things that I see value in, I definitely do a blush, especially if I'm talented in all, in all three. It's like, why not, you know? Mm -hmm. this, this queen is a queen of many multiple hats, ladies and gentlemen, which is why we <laughs> had to ask her, man. I was like, they was, they was saying, who can we get um, to have a, a lady's touch on the podcast, use a voice and their talents and everything. And I was like, run down this. I'm like, to Shay would be perfect. Well, it actually didn't work like that. Cause remember when I had looked up this guy on Fiverr, I said, this guy would be good. <laughs> Chris was like, yeah, I, I see the idea, but not with that guy. <laughs> we gotta have a ladies touch on, on, the, on the everybody that, all the women that come on the show is like, man, y'all need a woman's touch on here. It's too much. Male testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't get a bit much. Yeah. A little bit yeah. of representation. Right. Mm -hmm. Gotta have it. And Shay fits in perfectly, man. We, um, myself and we were going down memory lane real quick. A couple of, what, I think it was last year or so, or the year before. I can't fully remember. But um, we met on set with the Shay and we couldn't fully remember everything. I know afterwards we started 
talking, negotiating, and start, uh, you know, um, networking. That's what I'm looking for. And to say can run in some hills, y'all. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep running. <laughs> I feel bad. The director just had us, and shout out, I forgot the name of uh, who we was working with. It was so um, long ago. But Marcus, man, Marcus. Marcus, yeah. We was yeah. going up and down that little office space, off, that little office building, up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> and I'm, man, the Shay had some, uh, some, some heels on. And she turned some that pumps. corner. Some pumps. <laughs> She turned that corner. Like she hit them corners. She was bending corners with the heels. I was like, oh, them ankles. I mean, Lord, pray for her ankles. <laughs> I played basketball, ran track, you know, so. Yeah, I, I, I could run in some heels. Yeah. Run in some heels. You Ooh, know, you had some club nights. You know, where you might have to <laughs> run in yeah, some heels. You can get out there in that parking lot. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, back in the day, you don't know how to check in the new hills. You need not to wear them. Yeah, you don't need to wear them, boy. Not in Houston. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets strange <laughs> after two o'clock. Yeah, it's time to go. But you yes. know what's crazy is it wouldn't it wouldn't a good party if it would if you wouldn't know uh, running afterwards. <laughs> oh, oh, man, yeah, you better leave cool. early. <laughs> one o'clock. Yeah. If you cannot wear one of heels, you need to go ahead and it's your time to go. Yeah, one o'clock. It's time to exit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm All talking right. about her. Her form was perfect, y'all. I'm telling you, like she right, she ran track, she ran bas, she played basketball because like, because like they have me ducked off in the corner. I'm supposed to be like the dog on mechanic or whatever. What was and, that and, it was supposed to. Um, it was supposed to be like an attack on Chris the office party. Shay comes right now. He's like, "What is going on? What, yeah. what was going on?" Yeah, yeah, Santa Claus supposed to come in there with a gun, and we all chilling at the office party, and then you know he comes in, he do his thing, and then we gotta run. But we kept running. I don't understand why we kept running. Like, how hard is it for you to catch the running part? It was running. <laughs> I know. They was catching every angle. And then it was showing some people that were getting shot down. And we had to, like, redo that part. Like, whoever was running in the background had to redo it. It was just crazy. I mean, you don't think about the different, you know, type of scenes you have to get to be able to put it all together. Right. That was a lot of that was, I, I really uh, wish I would have worn some different shoes that that if they would have said it's gonna be a little bit of running, I probably would have worn some, you know, office flats, but yeah, I had to I had to make it do what I had really to do, you know. Improvise. <laughs> so I guess it's safe to say this is this movie was nothing like a Christmas story then, right? No. No. <laughs> no not at all. Yeah, no. man. Yeah, man. And I know we uh, me to say talked about it. We gotta get some skits going. We we gonna do. I, we gotta do that. Like number one, yeah. we're like, yeah. Because <laughs> to say is very good with the comedy. Uh, she's silly and goofy. Y'all have not noticed yet. So, <laughs> only, yeah. only on Saturdays, Sundays, and maybe Wednesdays. Yeah. Just just a little much. Just, just, just a couple of days. Just you know, you have to be serious some days. Yeah, so that's, I have that is days true. Yeah, get your, get your mom voice in. And, uh, and then look. Hey, sit down. Yeah. Y'all see how she yeah. just straight up sees it? Have fun. Have fun. You have to deal with it. Sit down. Now, you, you, go back. You say you have it's four kids now, right? Yes. Four. I have twin, a set of twin girls. They're seven. I have a 16 year old and a 13 year old. Okay. Okay. So. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, and, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, Tashay does not look like that. Rec this is how the new moms look. They just like, like you, you talk, you're like, like, wait, you mama? And what, say, like, what, yeah. What, James? How did the old moms look? I'm not getting into that, man. Hey. I need to. I need we need to elaborate more on this. <laughs> like, the, like, Cause Cisa like, May like, say, Cisa May tried her best now. Well, what did you try to say now? <laughs> hey, what's the end? Bring it in. Bring it in real soft. Don't. Okay. So yeah, when you talk to these people, yeah, we talk to yeah, everybody. I'm trying. Yeah. To, I'm gonna have to clean this shit up. <laughs> 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 like, 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 
I'll be, everybody will be like, well, what you mean, James? Like, like, look, I'm trying to tell you, like, this, you know, when you look at the same, you know, we don't say, like, we don't say, like, that's shown, remind you of the mom figure. She's just so cool and laid back in there, man. Other models are cool and laid back as well, too. But she, to say she is more like that different type of mom, she just, you don't look at her as like, no, that's not, like, no. It just doesn't, no. But then she say, yeah, four kids. Okay, James, we got you, bro. <laughs> okay, yeah, good. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go no further. I ain't even had nobody call me. I saw your show, James. I'm trying to help you. I don't know. I, All right, James, we got you, bro. We got you. I, 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 I think I know what he means. I'm, I'm gonna have to help him out. Maybe there you I'll go. Help me out, James. I'm acting like that ass. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. It looks like you know. Maybe I just be like, hey, kids, come on, let's. I'm really yeah, shooting my kids. <laughs> yeah, and, that's, and that's what it is because you just seem like a nice, cool, laid back person that just don't like, like, wait, mama, wait, wait, no, 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 no. But yeah. 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 So I see, that's what I mean. You have to be able to switch it real quick. That door to fix. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have a good relationship with my kids. I try to be open and talk and, you know, and be and create an environment where they can talk to me about anything mm -hmm. but you know then you have to also be the parent and they have to be able to understand okay yeah we can talk but i still have to lead you in the right direction right 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 i agree on that too and that's and that's good that you know you, you do that as well too um turn off like nah okay i'm cool laid back parent but like like when i turn to the mom like nah it's we're not playing games at all right here this is no, this is how it is. So yeah. Right. Yeah, so I agree with that. Yeah, so no, and then, I, I try not to embarrass or you know, and be extra all the time. If I have something said to my son or whatever, I pull to come with me over here to the side real quick. Let's talk. <laughs> you know. So we and we and I talk, we talk. We talk. And we talk about decisions and you know, hey, who am I? I'm mom. You gonna talk to me as such. You know, we, I mean, you have to have, these kids are different. These kids are different. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to connect with them on their level. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree with that. And that's, that's good that you pull them to the side, too, and talk to them and say, nah, nah, we, this is how we do it like this. And instead of, like, how you're saying, like, most parents, back, back then, our parents used to say, we don't care. We're going to put you on blast right there on the spot. Oh, you getting it. <laughs> well, it's a it's a balance because I I do yeah. a little bit of both with my son. I'm I'm gonna put you on blast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't I don't do it as much really. It is my my wife be the one that put him on blast. So. <laughs> yeah, I know it. I know it. But there's nothing wrong with that. You know, everybody's different. That's what I tell. You know, kids come home and they're like such and such mama said. This or such and such daddy is okay with that. This is a hey, everybody is a different parent, just like everybody, mm -hmm. you know, the same, you know, okay, everybody act the same, you know, okay, everybody parent the same, that parent might be okay with that. I'm just not, not at this point, not saying I'll never be, uh, you know, okay with whatever it is that they're asking. I'm just mm -hmm. like, no, not right now, <laughs> you know. Right. I have young girls, they're seven. They go to school with other girls and they have TikTok or Instagram and stuff like that. You know, I get the questions already at seven. Can I have social media? Mm -mm. No. Yeah. No, it. Yeah. Because it's too much. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. Yeah. yeah. It's too much. So, uh, any. Uh... How do y'all feel about that, y'all? Y'all let y'all kids do the TikTok in? Uh, my son is. 10, he turns 11 next month, so no, not right now, not right now. Um, he he wanted to slash when we got our hair because he wanted to slash in his eyebrow. Oh, no, he said, Hey man, and he said, Hey daddy, I can get slash in my eyebrow. I say, Who told you that? My mom, my mom. I'm like, All right, well, you you asked her, ask my everything is ask your mama because I ain't trying to get into all this. Okay? <laughs> Go ask your mama. Ask your, oh. your mama. <laughs> I do that too. I ain't gonna lie. There are some times where, I, like, if I don't know the answer to something, just so I don't get in trouble, I'm like, go, 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 ask your mama over there. Yeah, go ask your mama. Yeah, but as far as like the um, TikTok and YouTube, we'll let her watch 
YouTube and yeah, YouTube. some things, but I'll have her like, sometimes I have her right by my side and so, and I look and see, or if she put it on the TV, I'll let her look at it and not, you know, do the daddy mode and looking like, nah, turn it off. Okay, you watch that. <laughs> okay, that's good. okay, yeah. yeah. And I just go right back into it. Okay. You right monitor. Else. Yeah, yeah I monitor. You, you got to. Like you were saying, you yeah. got you got to monitor. You got to monitor. You got to. That's the most important. I, I, I have not yet entered the parenthood. Yeah, see, Chris is out of this conversation, man, because he's like, all right, now moving on. He tried to move on. Move on. <laughs> it's okay. Don't rush it. Oh, no. Don't rush it. Enjoy. Got to make sure I get the right one to have the right Enjoy. Yeah, there you, you go. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy that. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. And Chris met to Shay on Joffy's VIP room where we, we had that Martin episode. Oh, we talked That's about what Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it was some things that was um, that was being asked on the show. That I just like did not remember. Like I was like, that really happened. When we did yeah. the Martin trip, it's just that's all. Yeah, because you know, you know, you don't really see it. I don't really see that often. You have to really go in and find the episodes and watch them or be a real you know, like a fan to catch the episodes now. I see Fresh Pants on TV sometimes, but I really see Martin on there, so. Mm-hmm. Like, hmm. How you feel about the... go and watch a couple shows. How you feel about the reunion? Now, you know what? I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to see it. I'm happy. I've been waiting. Likewise, likewise. I've been waiting. I want to... Yeah. I'm ready. It's about time. Yeah. It's my yeah. time. Everybody else is doing it and have done it, who, you know, who were able to. Um, so it's like, why not? I mean, put all the whatever it was going, put that to the side and, you know, just do it for not only for your fans, do it for yourself and do it for your pockets. I'm pretty sure you, you know, it's a, a good payday. You, you're going to get your money for it because we, we've been waiting. Agree. Yeah. We, we have been waiting on that. And, um, that Martin episode that we did on, on the show was, um, that was funny too. When we had our moments, we were talking about who are our favorite Martin characters. And to say was, um, I forgot. I know to say one of your favorite Martin characters, was it, was Shanae one of them? No, no, I think, um, so it, it was not Shanae. Cause like everybody picks her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody picks Shanae. I really liked, um, the brother man, um, you know, character. I liked how he dropped in and just, you know, did his thing. And nobody, it was nobody else on the show that kind of act like him. When you heard that window opening, <laughs> you know, you knew it was him. You knew it was him. Who else um, was gonna be coming from the window? Coming to get like some him. sandwiches. He from Houston yes. too. <laughs> and you know, I like the slow. The, he was he. We connected. With the slow right. bomb. Yeah, I didn't even know he was from Houston, but yeah, yeah. He, he from um, ex- he from that explains it. Yeah, he from Galveston, Houston. My mom actually used to um, my, I think he ran to my mom a couple times. Um, he used to harass, bother her, and uh, so yeah, <laughs> it's that's why I was like, why the way like you say the way his swag, the way he walked different. We're like, yeah, bro, man is yeah. That's, that's how he, <laughs> he cool, cool laid back. Dude. We haven't met him yet, but yeah. No, I haven't met him. I haven't met him, but you know, that was my favorite character. Outside of Martin, of course, mm-hmm. they they used to do a uh, Pam wrong. <laughs> yeah, they did. Every episode. Yeah. Got every episode. I wonder if it's gonna still be like that. I wonder if she gonna still be getting just dragged every episode. <laughs> okay, so you did see the difference in between how they treated Gina and then how they treated Pam. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Big difference. Big Pam difference. always got dragged. The yeah. only, the only time Pam was like really, it was a couple episodes where Pam was like looked at as being really beautiful, or you know, I mean, they always admired Pam's assets on the show. Right. You know? But outside of that, they never really show her as being like a beautiful woman. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I really wish. I mean, I know. I really would really wish her spinoff would have would have got us um got it go got to go ahead when she was at the record label. Yeah, uh, I wish that spinoff would have happened because I thought that would have been a good show. Yeah, I mean, it should have, it should have, because I mean, 
shit would look like that. They had singing. They was bringing artists in. They was also like bringing in like real artists and connecting, you know, acting with music. And then they brought a whole nother fan base. So it was like it, that would have worked out great if it would have mm. kept going. It would have, because yeah. Tyrese was going to be on that as well too, wasn't he? I think, I think so. You know, she yeah. was like calling him to be like a artist um, under her, I believe. Right. Right. I remember that. Yeah, that would have been a good spinoff. So, um, yeah, it, it would have been a great, great spinoff. So since we talked about spinoffs and everything, have you been checking out the new Bel Air uh, TV series that's on Peacock? So like, OK, my son, my son, my 13 year old, he is into it. He's watched maybe like the first three three of them. And mm-hmm. he watched the first one and he begged me for Peacock. He's like, Mom, give me Peacock. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got it for him. And he's like, okay, Mom, watch the first one while I'm at school. And when I come home, we watch the second one together. He's like, all right, it's us. Don't do that. Didn't watch it. So he came home. He's like, all right, you're going to watch it. I'm watching the next two. So he watched the next two. Now I have to play catch up. So I haven't I haven't watched it yet, but most likely today or tomorrow I'm gonna sit somewhere binge watch the the first three, and then so I can catch up with him. That's what we do. We that's our quality time. We'll watch some shows together. That's good. I'll, go ahead, Chris, my friend. I'm just saying it was, it's definitely a good show, man. I, I like that uh the take that you know, the dramatic take that they take on the Fresh Prince. You know. Yeah. I feel like I'm seeing like. The behind the scenes of what happened of the comic. You have the comedy, you got the drama. So this is like this is what happened that we didn't see. This is all the extra. I agree. I so agree. like in the in the show, is it is it still a good relationship? Because you know, like it was a really thin line between the relationship that um, Will and Carlson had. I was it was thinking. like you know, it was borderline. Didn't like. Love and couldn't stand <laughs> at the same say, time. I would say after seeing the latest episode, just put it like this: this it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Let's say that. Yeah, but, they, like a, but they show uh, Carlton was really more jealous of Will because he had Daddy's attention. Mm-hmm. That was that. That was what all that was about, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, they start they explored that more. Because it was just a comedy. It was like coming, like I ha ha laughing back then. But like mm-hmm. now they exploited all those different aspects between their relationship. It was like whoa, because you start to realize that he was he was really jealous of them. And then believe it or not, there's a lot of first cousins that be jealous of the other cousin. Like yeah. I'm not even kidding. So, but Trey is the worst. Like, <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait for to say the um. Watch those episodes so you can see what we're talking about. But it, yeah, it's, it definitely is a tug of war. You know, yeah, I, I just don't understand that jealousy thing. You know, when it comes to family, that's yeah. that right there. It's just yeah, that's like right. it, it, when one of us make it or do something great, we we represent our whole family. Like we represent everybody. Like yeah. you should definitely be happy for your family that's doing great things. I, I agree. Like we're supposed to, you know, build each other up and everything else, and we're not supposed to be yeah. changing. Them now. And it's uh, yeah. our people, my people, just, well, everybody. Not just gonna say our, our people, but everybody. No our jealous. People. No, our people. It's hard. Our people. <laughs> like likes our people. They need therapy for the jealous. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So just, just say we're about to wrap it up real soon. But um, another quick question: How do you? Because I know you said you're. A, you know, young mom of four kids, you and your husband, uh, your husband does photography and everything, which is amazing and dope. Um, how do y'all balance, you know, with everything, with, with your family and doing things that you love doing? So how do, how do you do that? Well, to be honest, um, it's hard. It's yeah. hard balancing everything and making sure that everybody gets quality time and everybody's so special and, you know, and everything gels, especially with my, um, my 13 year old, his, really gifted at basketball. He's really yeah. gifted. And when I say gifted, I really mean gifted. And um, he, he's amazing. Yes. So we travel with him all the time for basketball. So, you know, of course you have to fit 
that in. It's just, it's hard sometimes. Sometimes I'm at a photo shoot or shooting or, you know, doing music things. And my husband not only does photography, but he also has other companies that he runs. So, I mean, to be honest, sometimes you just have to steal a moment from everything and just say, okay, this is family time right now for the next two hours or the today is we're going to do something as a family. You have to stick to it and just continue to try to grow relationships with kids that I have a family of six, it's six of us. So you just have to just, in order for the kids when they get older to continue to have a great bond, we have to start it now. And mm-hmm. that's what we continue to do. Just try to steal some time away from every, tell everybody else, no, we can't come, we can't do it. Today is family day. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I applaud you. Very, very inspiring that y'all are able to do that and do what y'all love doing too. So yeah. yeah. It's a sacrifice though. You know? we, we both have to work together, especially the parents. You have to definitely work together. When you have this much stuff going on, you have to work together as a team. Be able to communicate and schedule and you know time management. Oh Lord, time management. <laughs> time management is so important. Oh good. my God. You do not want to always be the last person to show up. Then this is a big group of other. Like, oh, okay. That's why they laid this a whole bunch of mm. and Nah, we try to be on time. <laughs> so, right. Everybody be rushing. You know how they, they show those families, like big families, when they're getting ready to go somewhere and everybody's like running around like crazy. When they'll get their stuff. And say, Where's my shoe? Where's my. That's us, literally. Everybody yeah. everywhere. But I'll be at the door like, come on. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Turn to mommy mode right quick. Let me hold on. Let me let me chop back up. <laughs> yes, I was like, okay, I'm doing my makeup in the car. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I had a car putting on eyeliner. So. Yeah, so we got to do that. <laughs> Too funny. All right, well, we definitely appreciate you coming on, Shay. Uh, go ahead, and let everybody know where they can follow you at. Okay, um, you can follow me on Instagram at t a s h a y to Shay. W. Um, and also on Facebook, same thing. I, I do have Snapchat. I do not know what the name of it is, uh, my um, Snapchat, but it is on my Instagram. So that's pretty much, I have TikTok, but I don't really use it. <laughs> so Instagram and Facebook, that's pretty much it. But thank y'all so much for having me. You know, I got to keep myself on out of here. These promos not going to make themselves. All right, well, we appreciate you and appreciate it. I'm gonna see a lot more to Shay coming soon, y'all. So, hey, thank you again, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you, bye. Bye, bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get the show continue the show going, man. So, I want y'all to stay locked in. We got who will be getting the just acting up award, just acting up show. Y'all stay locked. In. So y'all know we got to do a big, this is our 50th episode. So this right here, just acting up, who gets the award? Ooh, y'all already know that. Let's go, man. I want to hear this, Chris. What's, what's going on, homie? Man, we're going to head over to the great state of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, where, you know, we're in an age in society where people want to go viral or be, you know, go super viral with their antics and their pranks and stuff, right? So uh, a pair of YouTubers who attempted to spend a night in a Pennsylvania Target, they now face up to seven years in prison. Oh, hell no. Yeah, so a night of fun in the Pennsylvania Target store has led these YouTubers, Saucy and Honey, uh, they're facing criminal charges that could result to them being in jail for a while. So what they did is police say 25-year-old Johnson LaRose and 24-year-old Char- Charlotte Fisher uh, were arrested after hiding inside a Chester County Target. Uh, they started filming... Uh, the encounter for their social media. This happened back in February. So now the officers were called to the location and once they tripped the alarm and they searched the building, but they didn't find nobody, right? So the next mm-hmm. day, police say target employees found surveillance video showing a man and woman wandering around the store for hours with their phones out. The intruders didn't take anything during their time inside the store, uh, but it became a little bit bigger of an investigation trying to find out, find out what they were doing. And yeah, so... You know, was it something criminal? Was it something not? They were trying to figure it out. So the couple documented the 24 overnight challenge and target on their page of about 17.8 thousand subscribers. Um, 
it was about 26 minute video shows them building a fort to hide behind as the store closed and then wandering around aimlessly. Um, they, they claim to have stayed inside the store all night, but police say they left through an emergency exit around three, uh, which is what tripped the alarm. They returned to the store around eight in the morning to resume the video. Oh, hell uh, no. Which they said the situation could have ended much differently, said the police. When you go to, to a burglary call, we call police, say, you know, of course, it's a heightened issue. So they could have mistaken them for, you know, some burglars that was trying to rob the place and, you know, shot them, mm-hmm. dead, you know, because mm-hmm. these are um, people of color here, you know. So um, they say LaRose and Fisher are facing third degree criminal trespassing charges. They've been released on $25,000 unsecured bail and have been banned from Target stores across Keystone State. They're expected to be in court on March 24th. So they say they had no regrets, just living life and having fun. It's kind of sad that all of this came out of nowhere. We were expecting a fine, but nothing crazy. Boy, 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 the youth of today. <laughs> we expecting a fine, but nothing too crazy. Right. Twenty. You said it was 25K to get them out? 25,000 bail. They're facing up to seven years. I'll lift them in the. What? I. I ain't I ain't bailing you out for nothing. I would lift them in there. You chose that twenty five k, twenty five. Well, you gotta pay ten percent from that. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. In the new law and everything. But still, I'm just either way it goes. I'm just like you chose to do this, and you knew what was going to happen. You didn't know no. But you knew you, you got some consequences come to you. I wouldn't let him stay in there. Well, hmm. well, hey. you know, let's see. Let's take it to you know what time it is. Favorite Uh-oh. part of the day. Oh, okay. Chris's jokes. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, were they trying to be an overnight celebrity? Huh? Get it? Overnight. Like that. COVID. No, that's good. That's good. You can talk it overnight. No. Okay. Celebrity overnight. I like that. Like that. Like that. Okay, so. I guess you know whatever they was aiming to do, they missed the target, huh? Come on, oh, man. come on, that's what. <laughs> I, I, I see, I see it with some thought that got into that, so I'm gonna let that one. <laughs> okay, that was this, this that was last, thought. That this was one, some energy that came one, in that one. one. This one got a hit, right? I think they took the term on site just a little too literally. Come on. No, no, on site. Get it. I, I, I let that one. I let that second one. You got it. But that third one and that first one, do better next time. Like LeBron <laughs> did. Like LeBron did in that interview. <laughs> Get the do little bag. Just... He grabbed his bag. Open it. Do Open better it next time. Do better next time. <laughs> well, LeBron I, said, "You say it one more time." <laughs> I have. I have an uh, acting a fool. That uh, we should have talked about in the top of the hour, but we, you know, but we didn't. Um, acting the fool goes out to that bank teller in Atlanta that falsely accused Ryan Cooler as Cooley as uh, <laughs> robbing the bank. This man got arrested. He was trying to get what fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen thousand, twelve, twelve thousand, twelve. Either way it goes, he tried to get that Black Panther money out of his bank account. That he worked hard for, okay, and the bank teller, bank teller falsely accused him as robbing the bank. Now I've seen the video multiple times, and this just irritated me because as they are taking him out of the bank, you can hear the bank teller say, "Good job, guys, lady." Well, are you serious? I'm gonna play devil's advocate on that one. Cause okay, go ahead, Chris. I know the story, you know, because it is a black event. It's not a racism thing. It's a, you know, it was a black bank teller who was pregnant. And the way, right, I think it was just a lot of miscommunication because he slid the note. He slid a note, you know, and he had a, his mask on as well. And so, you know, you coming up there with your mask on, you slide a note, talking about give me 12000 you know, at my bank account. So her suspicion was already high. So it was, but it was also, that's not, that's not, Leaving her without the blame because she probably could do a little bit more investigation before confront, you know, just jumping to the conclusion. But I think it was just a miscommunication on both parts. I mean, yeah, you are absolutely right because I'm looking at the video and I see that he has the mags, the glasses, and 
the scully on. So it's like, ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't know anything about the note because that's what they, they do when they rob in the bank. Now, I didn't know anything about that. But he had to have some kind of ID. But then again, he had the mags and stuff on also as well. He could have had a conversation. Well, my bad. I ain't mean to cut you off, Mike. I mean, no, go ahead, Chris. I'm on James. You good? That, that's 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 my thing there too. I mean, I'm, she must have some extra stuff going on that day before she clocked in to work. Like maybe her boyfriend probably threatened that I'm gonna come down and rob the bank from. Because you do have to slide, you know, your ID and your card or whatever. You could have said, "What's your name?" Type it in the system right there. Brian Coogler. Okay, bet bet. Bit, 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 bye, bye, bye. Gone about your way. Now, That's why he slid the note, I don't know. I'm be discreet about it. Loud. What do you think about it? Do you want to just go somewhere and just say, maybe he didn't want to say the number out loud and, you know. That's yeah. true. That's, That's why. True. That's true. Yeah. That's and then on top of that, you have celebrity status. You made Black Panther. You made Fruitville Station. You made Creed. You trying to be discreet as possible. That's I'm right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, get in, get out. That's true. Okay, so it's on both sides. It's understandable, but due to the fact that she is a bank teller, she should know better. You know better. You do better. Yeah. I remember that one. I remember. Uh, it's a uh, just a little, little quick, a little quick, little yeah. quick. Um, there was this, um, me and Chris years ago went to. Uh, Walmart in Humble. Oh man, I remember that. Right, and we that. and we was just we was just driving around because we was waiting for our uh other homeboy to, to get out from work, I guess. And so we was killing time. So he's like, Man, let's just go to Walmart. So we just went to Walmart and we went to go get some candy. Now we could have got some candy out of the corner store, but we just chose to go to Walmart. Uh we went to the self-checkout line, did that. Oh, we went to the regular we, line. It was a regular I remember because we had to go back and get a receipt, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. We had to go back and get the receipt. This lady was just like, oh, nah, what the receipt at? What the receipt at? I'm like, lady, we just paid for this. And she's like, no, no, oh, no, no, no. You need the receipt. I ain't no damn fool. I ain't stupid. Blah, 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 blah. Like, she made a whole big fuss about some candy, you know? And obviously, we paid for it because we had the receipt. We threw it away. You know, like, mm. they ain't gonna worry about it. But I, I just say that to say this. It could have went down a lot worse in our situation and Ryan's too. So you just got to be careful. You got to be yeah. careful. I'm at that Walmart. I ain't never went to that Walmart again. Yep, yep. Yeah. We talked about that for days. We talked about busted. that for days. We, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Because first of all, I, respect, I can't yeah. afford candy. Don't my <laughs> like a dollar? It was eighty cents piece of candy. It was like a dollar. <laughs> man, but, yeah, man, yeah, you look. Uh, so people got to be careful. Got to be mm. more careful. And either way it goes, that lady gets acting the fool for me. Whoever that bank teller lady mm -hmm. is, you get acting the fool because you knew better, you'll do better. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into the balancing act. We're going to give a certain individual their flowers. So y'all stay locked in to the Just Acting Up show. those who um, have passed and go on to another world to another place are uh, we acknowledge those who have been out and about in this crazy crazy world that we have and been you know we give them flowers to them we acknowledge them we you know pay tribute to them homage to them all that um because they're just so awesome that we got to acknowledge them man um for this one this is going to be uh i know I said I want to keep the energy up because I fit the episode. We're just having so much fun talking about these uh, crazy celebrities and everything else was going on. But uh, this um, is some breaking news. And I'm sad to say what just transpired right when we we're um, doing this podcast. Um, like I said, of course, this comes out on Tuesday, but we're filming this on Saturday morning. Uh, Tracy Braxton passed away at the age of 50 from cancer. Uh, Shocking. I, I None of us knew. Well, I, I don't know if y'all knew that she was battling cancer. Um, I didn't know. But yeah, um, 50 years old. Wow. Um, so yeah, hearts and prayers to her and her family and the Braxton family and her uh, husband. So yeah, um, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, for some people, it's you know, it's hard to live your life on TV for everybody to see. So, and you know, I watch I, I watch their show, The Braxton Family Values. So, you know, it's like it, it was sad to see their news and because knowing how their sistership is, you know, mm-hmm. that's definitely praying for that family. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, Tracy's husband, Kevin, sorry if I pronounce his last name, Kevin Surratt tells TMZ, we have come to a time where we must inform the public that after a year of privately undergoing a series of treatment for esophageal cancer, our beloved Tracy Braxton has gone on to glory. We're told Tracy's sisters, mom and friends were by her side when she passed. Tracy appeared on the family's reality show, Braxton Family Values. She was an actress best known for Sinners Wanted. She also appeared in There's a Stranger in My House and Chaw. I think that's how you pronounce it. Forgive me for that. (laughs) Um, She recorded a hit song, Last Call, that rose to number 16 on the Billboard Hot 100. She also recorded Broken Things featuring her sisters, Tony, Tawana, and Trina. As you know, Tracy and... uh, has famous sisters, Tony, Twanda, Tamar, and Trina. The family has experienced other recent tragedies as well. Uh, so, yeah, man. Um, hearts and prayers uh, to her. They said the last time we saw Tracy, she was joking and laughing with other with our cameras on the streets of NYC in April 2019. Uh, Tracy leaves her husband, Karen Surratt, and a child, 50 years old. Man, um, she definitely had an impact on a lot of people, um, especially with Chris, which you mentioned, her, the TV show she's part of, the Braxton Family Values. I mean, my mom used to sit back and watch them. My mom and sister, they used to love watching the show. And, uh, they said they loved Tracy. Tracy was one, one of their favorite as well. So, uh, so yeah, man. Uh, hearts of prayers to her, them, and their family. And uh, y'all continue to, uh, to – all my viewers out there um, – whatever grudges you have towards anybody, your family members, not saying that they did, but just saying that, you know, this is what we talk about when people go on a pass on to glory, you know, enjoy your life. Um, not too, too much because, you know, the laws will come and get you. Trust me. Like the laws came and got the people that was uh, in that target that Chris was talking about. So don't, don't enjoy your life too, too much. But um, enjoy your life. Spend time with your family, friends, loved ones. Uh, buy a dog. Dog brings happiness. Let me stop being silly. But yeah, man. Um, appreciate you, Tracy, for everything that you do. Boy, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Uh, 50th episode, man. Uh, wow, man. Um, you never know how, how far you're going to go when, when you start something, man. You just start something, you keep going, and then you just continue to climb that plateau as high as you can and then spread them blessings to everybody. And uh, spread the laughter, spread joy, spread peace. Man, I, I have a good time doing this show, man, when I wake up, man. Give, give, give me that little energy, that kick that I need. So, but yeah, y'all got anything before we get up out of here, man? No, no, I'm just, I'm just appreciative of, of you guys. You know, we, um, we saw the vision along with me. We all saw the vision, and and we put it together, and we make it work. You know, absolutely, absolutely, it came together like, a, like a good sandwich, and uh, you know, and uh, we just been grinding it out. It's kind, of, it's hard to get up on these Saturday mornings, man, but. <laughs> We make it work. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, man, when people when people hear hear the podcast, they're like, man, how long you guys been knowing each other? That's how tight our chemistry is. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you both, you know, and um hey man, gonna keep this thing going. I 50th, 50 more. 50 more after that, 50 more after that, 50 more after that, 50 more after that, all the way into the internet crash. You know, <laughs> we're going to take it higher and higher every time. Might see us on TV soon. I'm just saying. Hey. Sky's hey. the limit. Yeah. You know, Oprah? Yeah. Where you at, Oprah? Yeah. Somebody right. give us a deal. 
Whoever wants to get there. Whoever. Whoever. Consistency is here. Consistency. 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 We got that. Of course, Louis got to look at it. And then we signed the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, I signed for two dollars. Now I'm doing it. <laughs> that's his, that's his portion. Two dollars. <laughs> that's his portion. That ain't my portion. <laughs> Let me make that quite clear. <laughs> oh man! All right. well, I got my quarter of the, the day. Um, celebrate what you've accomplished, but raise the bar a little higher each time you succeed. That's right. That's right. That's absolutely right. Actually, so I love it. I like that quote, Chris, because I'm going to end it off like Deshaun. Come on. <laughs> Deshaun, raise that bar, Deshaun. Come on, Deshaun. We seven. We need we, we need oh, seven. Man. You can bring us home. Yeah, it's about that. How, how would a fairy tale ending would that be? One Hall of Fame quarterback leaves, and then here come a future Hall of Fame quarterback. Man, come on, man. Look at God. Well, so shout out to Russell. Go Just ahead. In the show. Hold on. Shout out to Russell Westbrook. Oh, not, not Westbrook, but Russell Wilson. The man got signed to the uh, Bronco, so, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we didn't mention that. So, yeah. yeah. Broncos looking real good this year. Aaron Rodgers got his money. Come on, Deshaun. <laughs> yep. So, anyway, great seeing y'all. We'll see y'all next time. This ain't no show. Bye. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>